Garmin has a large line of personal handheld navigation devices to accommodate various needs and budgets. Many people ask us to illustrate the differences between various Garmin products to help them make buying decisions. Let's take a side-by-side -side look at two of the very popular units that are top versions in their respective product lines. eTrax 30, the one with barometric altimeter, wireless da data transfer, and a 3-axis compass. And Dakota 20, also equipped with 3-axis compass and supporting wireless unit-to-unit -unit transfer. Let's start with the physical appearance. When compared side-by-side, -side, both eTrax 30 and Dakota 20 are very similar in size. The first obvious difference is that Dakota has no buttons except for the power button on the right side. It is a touchscreen unit. It also has a larger 2.6 inch diagonal display compared to 2.2 inch on eTrex. Both displays are transreflexive TFT ones, but eTrex one looks a little brighter. The screens look very similar, but are navigated differently. Vertical scroll using joystick type button on the front of the eTrex and horizontal scroll using arrow touch buttons on Dakota. On the back, both units have familiar Garmin backbone cover that enables mounting units on various mounts for use in the car, on the bike, or a boat. Both have USB port under the rubber cover and micro SD slot behind the batteries. We can see that units use different locking systems for the back cover. Dakota uses the slide button that pops the back cover open. While easier to operate than twisting lock used on the eTrex, it also seems less secure and could possibly be opened by accident. Of course it is not a big issue unless you open it in a pouring rain. As far as capabilities of the units go, a slightly more expensive Dakota offers the convenience of touchscreen but has a bit shorter battery life, 20 hours versus 25 on eTrex. eTrex also has double the built-in memory, 1.7 GB versus 850 MB on Dakota, but you can easily add memory with the, with the optional SD cards. eTrex also has double the number of waypoints, 2000 versus 1000 on Dakota, and can store more routes, 200 versus 50 on Dakota. Neither unit has a speaker, but Dakota features internal buzzer. Big difference is the eTrex's support of both GPS and GLONASS satellite systems, enabling users to log onto satellite faster and have access to 24 more satellites than GPS alone. Either way, both units are very reliable and will make a great outdoor companion.